losses in seven games coming into Friday's visit from Arizona. Top one, Edgar Gonzalez facing Barry Bonds. Wild pitch. Runners advance. They're loaded later in the inning. It's Dustin Moore. You know what? We're going to let Barry have the walk. So that loads him up. Here's Moore, and he takes advantage. Knocks it into left. That's a double. Bonds comes in. J.T. Snow scores as well. It's 4-3 Giants. They led 7-3 in the home half of the second inning, and here comes Barry Bonds. Barry hitting by the dock of the bay. Career home run number 697. Three shy of 700. It's 39th on the year. Bonds on the night, one for two. He walked twice, hitting 367. Bottom five, Fonzie. Correct the mundo. Edgardo Alfonso down the left field line. 11 5 Giants. Alfonso had five hits on the night. He was five for six. All kinds of San Fran offense in this one. 14 5 Giants in the sixth. Bonds gets under it a little bit too much. He pops out, but. Does drive one in as it goes to the track. Even Barry Bonds' pop-ups go to the warning track. The Giants, five losses in seven games coming in, but they win big here, 18-7. Barry Lamar, just three shy of 700. His next home run will give him five straight seasons of at least 40. If he does that, he'll become the seventh player in Major League history ever with five straight 40 home run years. San Diego hosting Colorado. The Padres chasing that wild card invite. David Wells just two and six in his career at San Diego's New Yard, but seven and two in his last 12 starts. Top four. The Rockies are up four. Jason Jennings, the opposing pitcher, grounds the first. Phil Nevin throws it over Wells' head. Todd Green scores. Miguel Ojeda. Ouch. Stayed in the game. Nevin gets the errors. Five nothing. Still five nothing. Bases loaded. Mark Loretta, double into right center. Ojeda still in the game. Robert Fick score. Throwing error allows Kerry Robinson to score, and Loretta ends up at third, and all of a sudden we've got a 5-3 ball game. It's now 5-4, two runners on, bottom seven, two out, 0-2 pitch, Phil Nevin. Get out. Three-run shot, his 20th, and the Padres are up 7-5. Trevor Hoffman, 385 career saves, fourth most all-time, Royce Clayton. Sit. 34 saves. Padres winning 7 6. Astros winners of six in a row. Craig Vigio and company opening a three game visit from Pittsburgh. And Vigio in the bottom of the third gets a hold of one off Oliver Perez. Oh, look at that. Glove save and ability. A glove save. Of ability. Doubles up the runner at first. Great concentration, but. The news is not all good. He would allow seven runs on seven hits in five and two thirds. Like right here, Carlos Beltran, absolutely on fire lately. In the fourth inning, we flash back to the first inning. Beltran deep to right. Rob Makoviak going back. Makoviak with a tremendous catch. Rob Beltran of a home run. That was in the first. Let's get back to the fourth. Here we go. And the Pirates aren't bringing this one back. Off the facade. Beltran's 22nd, it's 2-0 Astros. Top five, the Rocket gets Jose Castillo. Clemens went six and two-third, but allowed six runs on six hits, struck out five in the sixth. Jeff Bagwell. Say hello to a little friend. That's the way it's done. I hear she likes trains, Joel. It's 22nd. <laughs> Astros win 8-6. Houston has won seven in a row. Hurricane Francis, a big impact on the National League wild card. The Cubs Marlins games in Miami on Friday and Saturday postponed. No make updates were scheduled. In fact, a decision on whether they will play Sunday's game will be made sometime on Saturday. Right now, the Cubs one up on the Giants, one and a half up on the Fathers. Fish of the Astros, two and a half off the pace. As was giving New York all it could handle. Derek Jeter and company. A lot of success against Baltimore this year, 11 and 2. Bottom one, it's Jeter. The solo shot off Lopez, his 18th, makes it 1-0 Yankees, but Lopez would settle down. He's in a jam later in the inning. The bases are full for Jorge Posada, and Lopez gets the out pitch. 4-6-3 ends it. Lopez allowed just the one run on six hits in seven and a third. Top six, Miguel Tejada off Kevin Brown's throwing hand. It's 3-1 Baltimore. Brown stayed in the game, but coincidentally would later break his left hand, punching a wall in the clubhouse. More on that in a minute. Ninth inning, Yankees down 3-1, and they need a rally. They look to A-Rod to start it, but Jorge Julio gets him, then Hideki Matsui, and then Posada. The Yankees lose 3-1. New York 10 and a half up on Boston on August 15th. Now in danger of seeing that lead shrink to two and a half games. 
As we said, that loss, the first in a trio of AAL East events Friday night, all of them good for the Red Sox and bad for the Yankees. Kevin Brown was so frustrated Friday, he punched a clubhouse wall in the middle of the sixth inning and broke two bones in his left hand. That is his non-throwing hand. They're not sure how long Brown is going to be out. He'll see a hand specialist on Saturday. Stupidity is how Brown described his wall-punching hissy fit. Brian Cashman agreed. Came in after the sixth inning and, and uh, you know, punched the wall here in the clubhouse with uh, his non-throwing hand. So, how disappointing is this to you? You know, it's very. You know, this is yeah, it's an issue. It's a major issue now that we have to deal with it. We shouldn't be dealing with. And uh, you know, so obviously we're extremely disappointed, concerned. You know, it's a problem. And uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure what any more I can say right now on it. Angry fit in there too. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, there's no doubt about it. You know. Um, but uh, we'll just you know, again, it, it's something. It's new that uh, we're dealing with, and you know, uh, I haven't even talked to Kevin. So. But uh, it's, uh, it's an issue we shouldn't be dealing with, but we are. Kevin Brown's had a frustrating year. Remember, he missed seven weeks with that lower back strain and intestinal parasite. He said about the wall punch that broke his hand Friday, I reacted to frustration I'd swallowed all year. There are no excuses. I let it boil over, and I did something stupid. I owe my teammates an apology for letting my emotions take over like that. Brown went on to say, my plan is to splint it and pitch. I just pray that my stupidity didn't hurt the team. But will Brown be able to pitch with a broken glove hand? In fact, Brown just 1-3, 5.17 in his last last five starts. That includes Friday night. Could the Red Sox take advantage of the Yankees' loss, hosting the Rangers at Fenway? Barton! Yeah! Manny, bottom first with two outs, solo shot, 37th on the season, 22nd at Fenway, 23rd RBI in his last 13 games, top six. Pedro Martinez facing Mark Teixeira. Teixeira in foul territory. We arrow the fan, and Beller, bring a glove. And Get off the field. You want to see that again? Neither do we. Seventh inning. Pedro facing Lance Nix. 2 0 lead. Martinez, 37 and 5, 189 ERA career against teams currently in the ALS. 8 and 2 against Texas, but Nix safe at first after Jason Baratek can't handle. Kevin Metch can't handle. And now two on Andy Fox. Gary Matthews can't handle. Pedro, seven innings, nine strikeouts. Sox win, 2 0. 11th straight home win for Boston. Here's how the Yankees' lead is shrunk. After Derek Jeter flew into the stands on July 1st, the advantage was eight and a half. Right before the Baratek A Rod dust up on July 24th, it was nine and a half. On the morning of August 16th, it was ten and a half. After Friday night, it's two and a half. Not as far as you know. <laughs> Andy Chavez to second. Marcus Giles full extension, and he makes the play against Chavez at first. Top four, nobody on. Eli Morero facing Scott Downs. Solo shot is ninth. Braves easy. 7-1 behind Bird. It will out only one run on four hits and eight. Atlanta has won four in a row. Bottom two, Jim Edmonds. Jason Grabowski, and he cannot make the Grabowski. Edmonds, oh, off the backhand. That's a double. Two batters later, it's Reggie Sanders. Let's try that Grabowski guy again. It worked once, and it works again. Grabowski can't quite get there. One-nothing Cardinals. Jose Lima, your thoughts? He's a, well, he, well, he's a little peeved after uh, Sanders ends up on second. Matt Morris, absolutely dominated. Top four, Adrian Beltre. 0 for 3. Top 6, Morris rings up Cesaris Turris. He retired the last 14 he faced. Game took 1 hour and 58 minutes. Morris, a 2-hit shutout, struck out 11. St. Louis has won 7 in a row. Teen on the season. Top 3rd. Mariners are down 5 nothing. Ichiro drives the ball to right center. He gets a double and takes 3rd on the air. That's number 218. Now, top 5-5-1. Five, five, Ichiro. Hits the ball to Juan Uribe. Uribe also a homer. I'm trying to work here. All right. Mariners fall short. 7-5. White Sox are your winner. Ichiro goes one for four, but he's now hit safely in nine straight games. On pace for 264, which would break the single season record of 257 set by George Sisler 84 years ago. 16 games coming into Toronto, A. Eh? Tim Hudson had not allowed a home run in his last 13 starts, 96 and a third. Bottom two, Carlos Delgado. Solo shot is 25th. 1-0 Blue Jays. Alex Rios in the home half of the fifth. 
doubles up the middle. Bobby Crosby. Vernon Wells scores. Hudson would allow four runs on eight hits and seven. And Toronto leads 4-3. But in the sixth, Bobby Kelty comes up facing former A Ted Lilly. And he makes a winner out of Huddy, a two-run shot. His seventh, he was three for four. Hudson wins his fourth straight start. And the A's take care of Bidnett at Skydome, a 7-4. The A's have won 15 of their last 17 games. Angels swept in three games by the Red Sox at Fenway, limping into Cleveland this weekend. Scott Ellerton, 4-1 career at the Jake. How would he do here? Let's find out. Top four, getting some outfield love. Troy Gloss, deep to right. Jody Garrett is at the wall. Comes up with a big catch, two batters later. Ellerton leaves an off-speed pitch up in the zone. You don't want to do that against Benji Molina. Crushed. Three-run shot is 10th, and it's 3-0 Anaheim. Top five, Garrett Anderson. Victor Martinez, he wants it up and in. But Anderson finds it anyway and crushes it for the two-run home run. Hey, you make a good pitch, sometimes he just hit it. 11th of the year, 5-0 Angels. We go to the sixth. Troy Gloss is not homer since May 11. Of course, he's been out since forever. Delivers it. Fastball down the middle. Ellerton does, and Gloss gets it. Doesn't miss that. It's 12. Ellerton gives up six earned on 10 hits and six, and the Angels win 10-5. So here's what it looks like in the American League. The A's, who are absolutely on fire, have a four-game lead in the West as they chase their third straight division title. As far as the wild card goes, the Red Sox absolutely, well, they're, they're just, they're doing real good. They're two and a half behind the Yankees in the AL East, and they have a nice, comfy four and a half game cushion in the wild card, but, you know, it's never that comfortable when you're talking about the Red Sox. Minnesota hosting Kansas City. Twins are 6-0 and against the Royals this season, and they've won six straight home games, and they have Johan Santana on the mound, 8-0 in his last nine starts. Top third, Calvin Pickering. Oh, there's Torrey Hunter. Isn't he lovely? Made from glove. I love Creedy. Top six, no score. Santana, David De Jesus strikes out. Singing, he hit a no hitter through six, but he gave up a hit to Desi Relaford. Now we've got runners on the corner in the seventh. Matt Stairs, good game to watch. Santana struck out every KC batter in the lineup at least once, including Abraham Nunez there. On Hell Baroa coming up. In his last 17 starts, Santana, 14 and 2, a 157 ERA, 163 strikeouts, AL leader in strikeouts. AL candidate for Cy Young. Twins win it 2 0. It's not like Jim Marshall running into the wrong end zone or Joe Pisarczyk not taking a knee, but it, it could have joined that elite group of mindless fumbles. That's right. In the final seconds of the Rams Raiders game Thursday night, Rams coach Mike Martz was on the sidelines screaming for his team to set up for a game tying field goal. One issue, though, the Rams were down by four. Martz called it the dumbest thing I've ever done. As a football coach, except of course not going for overtime in that playoff game. But hey, you know, that's not... you know that that sets us up for hardly the usual top play served up by Mike's hard lemonade. We start at number 10, Rangers Twins Wednesday. Eric Young into the wall, and well, then Tory Hunter. He does CSI Minnesota by putting Young's tape figure on the wall. Number nine, Rockies Padres. Friday, Phil Nevins throw over David Wells' head. Miguel Ojeda chases the ball down, and one problem, though, look out for that pole. Oh, that is uh, off the post. All right, number eight, anniversary jump Thursday between those two. That's 88-year-old Albert McDaniels and his 81-year-old wife, Esther. What was the best part about it? That loop-a-dee-loop. <laughs> well, she's been saying that for 80 years. Number seven, Tigers Red Sox. Dimitri Young, the meat hook is down. Alan Embry, sometimes the heat is just too much. <laughs> At number six, USA Slovakia Friday. Chris Chelios to the sliding Jason Blake, and it ends up in the net. He visits the red light district. Number five, Indians Yankees Wednesday. Coco Crisp, El Duque. Tries to tag Coco, but Chris does a little dance, and well, you got to finish strong. Coco, beware. It looked good, though. At number four, Indians Yankees Thursday, Kazahito Tadano. The EFAS pitch, they call that. And Alex Rodriguez grounds out to third base. I think he stunned everything. Threw that to me. No, I'm feeling fine. I just wish I hadn't drank all that cough syrup this morning. Or in this case, milk through a guy's eye. Gross. That is the milk world record for eye squirting. A guy from Turkey, and he's never been prouder. <laughs> Number two, White Sox Indian Sunday. Ronnie Belliard, ground ball to the pitcher. This turns into the... 
typical one, six, five, six, double play. Double trouble, just like Carlton Fisk once did at home. With authority. Number one, Indians, Yankees. The catch, 22 feet down. The Yankees lose the game 22 to nothing. Hardly the usual top 10 is served up by Mike's Hard Lemonade Premium Malt Beverage with Natural